I have struggled with acne for most of my life. I made the hard decision to go on Accutane about a year ago and the journey has not been a straight line. My lips are also extremely dry. After my first five month course, my acne came back. I'm breaking out a little bit here. I was just devastated. After years of trying everything to clear my skin, I feel like I have finally come out on the other side. My skin went from this to this. Today, I'm gonna share with you the steps that I've taken to finally get rid of my hormonal acne. I'm gonna go through the skincare routine that has helped to change my skin. Special shout out to Forio for being the partner of today's video. Stay through to the end. I'll also be sharing some hair and body products that have been making a huge difference. Let's get into it. I've gotten so many requests for an update on my skin and Accutane journey. And I never really felt comfortable to do a full on update because my acne came back. And so I felt like I didn't really have anything of value to like share with you. But now that I feel like my skin is doing amazing, I am really excited to finally share everything with you guys. If you don't know much about Accutane, I recommend going to watch that video because I do go quite in depth about like the actual medication, the side effects. And just like a lot of people, I was like nervous to start it and more nervous that it wouldn't work. And it did work. No active breakouts until it didn't. What is happening? Texture again on my forehead. My dermatologist put me back on Accutane. When he told me he wanted me on it for nine months, I obviously was very discouraged. It's like I just went through five months of it. Another nine months. I could make a whole ass baby in that time. Okay, nine months is a lot long time, but I was determined to clear my acne. And although the side effects like were annoying, I felt like I now knew how to manage them better with the right products. Fast forwarding, I have about two weeks left of my course. I'm almost done, yes. Now that my acne is finally gone, my skin is just so much more manageable and I know that the products that I'm using are making a difference. That leads me into my skincare routine. I'm gonna go in order of like how I actually do my skincare routine. And the first step would be to remove makeup. And I use the Garnier, my cellar cleansing water. I got rid of using makeup wipes. I just found that they were far more like irritating on my acne and especially with super sensitive skin on Accutane that makes all the difference. Next I'll cleanse my face and I've added the Foreo Luna 4 to my routine for a few months now. It is a pulsating device that really helps to get in deep and really clean your skin. I like to use the gentle cleansing mode. Do you hear that? Oh, it's so satisfying. It feels so nice. The bristles are silicone and so gentle and soft. So I've been loving this because I noticed that I don't need to do a double cleanse when I use this. It just does such a good job the first time around. And I actually did a comparison. This is a pad after cleansing my face with just my hands versus after cleansing once with the Luna 4. You can really see the difference and it makes me feel so good knowing that my skin is extra clean, which obviously is super important for acne prone skin to make sure that you're cleansing properly. I also love that it connects to an app because you can track your cleanses. It guides you through a facial massage, which helps with lymphatic drainage and just snatching your face, kind of like how a gua sha would do. Now that I'm doing the facial massages with this, I feel like it kind of naturally replaced that for me because now I have it all in one. So I do love this little bad boy and I will link that in the description for you guys to go check out. She's so cute and soft, we love her. I use the Vanny Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser and I love this. It has such minimal ingredients in it, free of dyes, fragrance, parabens, all that bad stuff. So good for your skin, no matter what skin type you have, but it's especially nice and gentle for sensitive skin and amazing since I've been on Accutane. Initially, I was using the CRV Hydrating Cleanser, which I also really, really loved, but I think this is gonna be my go-to even after getting off Accutane just because it's just a nice, basic cleanser. For tone Toner. I use the First Aid Beauty Wild Oat Hydrating Toner and I swear by this if you have super sensitive, dry skin, prone to irritation or even rosacea, I feel like you would really, really love this. It just feels like you're giving your face a milk bath. It is so nice and hydrating and soothing. The second that you put it on, like you feel it, you know? It's been like the only toner I use for the past year. I love it. After toner, I'll go in with my serums. Both of these happen to be also from First Aid Beauty. Clearly, I am a fan. This is the 10% vitamin C brightening serum. And I'll only use this in the mornings. You don't ever wanna like overdo vitamin C. So if you find your skin is more sensitive to vitamin C, maybe try a 5% instead of a 10% right away, or maybe do it every other day instead of every day. But the 10% once daily in the morning has been working amazing for me. The brightening properties are especially great if you have acne prone skin and you have scarring. So hopefully over time that will help to lighten my scarring even more. It's a serum, it's lightweight. I don't 
don't really like the cream vitamin C's and I don't like the oil vitamin C's. So it's a great consistency. I also was using Image Skincare's vitamin C before this and I enjoyed that one as well. But yeah, we're sticking with the First Aid Beauty one for now. The next serum is the Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. Niacinamide is great for evening your skin tone and brightening dark spots, which obviously I have a lot of right now. And I use this morning and night and I feel like it has been making a huge difference in lightening my scarring. Obviously it's still bad right now, but it used to be so much worse. My little brother, he's 11 now. He was like, what are those pink spots all over your face? Cause I had so many and they were like really red. And I was like, thanks bro. But now he doesn't say that anymore because they've gotten a lot better. So that's saying something. Nice and amide important. The next product I use is Snail Mucin Essence, which sounds disgusting and it low key, if you think about it, kind of is. It's like literally the snail sliminess that you're putting all over your face. As somebody that used to have extremely oily skin, anything like this is scary because you feel like you're clogging your pores, you feel like you're adding so much more oil. But now that my skin is so extremely dry, this has been a saving grace. It is lightweight, but it's also very sticky, as you can see, which makes it stay on your face a lot longer and doesn't get absorbed super fast, which I really can appreciate because with how dry my skin is, moisturizer just goes and then goes away. I use this every night and sometimes in the mornings, but only if I'm not wearing makeup that day because I do feel like it can be a little unpredictable sitting under makeup. Then I'll go in with an eye cream. I'm using It Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. It's a super peptide anti-fatigue treatment. I've been really liking this one because it's really thick and rich, which has been really nice because of how dry my eye area is. Even my eyeballs are so dry now that I have to use eye drops like every single day. So having a nice eye cream is really nice. But eye cream is one of those things that I feel like you could also just use interchangeably with your moisturizer. I really don't think it's necessary. It is nice if you want to splurge a little bit, but taking your moisturizer around your eyes is fine too. I do that when I'm feeling lazy and don't want to reach for this guy. I'll just throw moisturizer all over and slap it on. For moisturizer, I use the Vanny Cream Moisturizing Lotion. Some people prefer like a really thick, rich cream for their moisturizer are well on Accutane, but I actually prefer the lotion. It's a lot more lightweight and I feel like still gives me a lot of hydration without feeling like super heavy. I also think it's kind of the same as the CeraVe moisturizer. I was using that one before as well. After moisturizing, it's key to use an SPF. I'm using the Tinted Elta MD SPF 40. I'll use this in the mornings. I love that it's tinted because it just gives your skin a nice even tone. And if you're like me and you don't tan your face, it gives you some color to your face, which is really nice and can kind of look like you've done a little something something a little BB cream or something without actually having done that and it just makes your skin look so much nicer. So for me a tinted SPF is key. <laughs> Lastly I have the Ordinary Rose Hip Seed Oil. This I'll use only at nighttime. It'll be the last step in my routine. It works amazing for me to just use as a spot treatment on my scarring and I feel like over time this with the vitamin C and the niacinamide has been really lightening my scarring without even doing any other treatments like microneedling or chemical peels or any of that stuff that I can't really do on Accutane. So I feel like these have been great at combating those issues. But that being said, after I am done Accutane and my dermatologist gives me the green light, I definitely do wanna try those treatments to help to lighten my scarring a little bit faster. That is my skincare routine, but we have some special mentions, okay? Aquaphor, you cannot live without if you are on Accutane or if you have chronic dry lips, you need this in your life. I don't think I'll ever use any other lip balm just because this works so well and it looks just like a hydrating lip balm. Being on Accutane, that's probably the most annoying thing for me is the fact that my lips just are like constantly peeling, always crusty. So I'm reapplying this probably every half hour throughout the day. And even though a little goes a long way, I've still gone through like five of these. So that just tells you what you need to know. Next is some hydrating sheet masks. They're so cooling. It feels like a spot on your face, but you're doing it at home. So I'll put these on anytime. Maybe I didn't drink enough water that day. And like, I can immediately tell with my skin. That reminds me or I've been drinking, the next day I'll throw one of these on and it really just helps to instantly hydrate my skin. Cause otherwise, even if I go like this, like my skin flakes, like it's that dry. So this skincare routine has been working amazing for me. I do it religiously morning and night. I don't see myself deviating from this routine too much. As I get off Accutane and my skin progressively becomes less dry, I'll probably hold back on using some of those really hydrating products like the snail mucin, maybe I'll only use one time a week. My dermatologist also prescribed me 0.04% 
retinoin gel to start using a few weeks after I'm done Accutane. And if you do have acne and you haven't tried this yet, I would definitely ask your healthcare provider, your dermatologist about it because this usually works for people without having to go on Accutane. So it's definitely something worth trying. Now for some hair care and body products that are holy grails for me. I did only start them based on trying to be prepared for like the side effects of Accutane being so dry, your hair can get really brittle. So I felt like I needed to take special care of my hair. I use the Kerastase Nutritive Mask once a week and I've noticed a huge difference in my hair with this. I absolutely love it. Now that I'm in the habit after being on Accutane, I don't see myself not using a hair mask again because I've just noticed such a difference. Next is the Vegamore Grow Hair Serum. I initially tried this for a video and I have not stopped using it since. This is something that was a game changer for my hair. I've noticed that my hair has fallen out a lot less and my hairline has gotten a lot thicker. I use it every single night, just one syringe full. I'll drip throughout all the areas that I want a little extra volume and hair growth and this has been working wonders for me. So I love that. And I feel like that's why my hair hasn't fallen out as much while being on Accutane. Next is the Rapid Lash Eyelash Enhancing Serum. I also was using the Grande Lash. I just wanted to use a eyelash serum to help keep my lashes strong and prevent them from falling out because they do get really brittle while being on Accutane. That's something I actually could notice. I could feel them being like stiffer, you know? I did try lash extensions for a short period of time and I kind of stopped because I felt like I was losing more lashes than I normally would if I wasn't on Accutane because I do think your eyelashes are a little bit weaker. Started using this religiously every single night and I feel like I've noticed that my lashes are a lot stronger and falling out less. Amazing stuff. You'll definitely notice a difference in your lash length using one of these. The Olay In Shower Body Lotion is a necessity for me now. It's that shea butter smell. It smells so good. It's the last step of my shower routine. I'll put this all over my body and then rinse it off. It just helps to lock in that water moisture and keep your body hydrated so much longer. Love this stuff. And then I'll even moisturize my body afterwards and it just stays hydrated so much longer. Although my acne journey has been long and lots of bumps along the way, I still wish I could have told myself to try Accutane sooner because it wasn't as scary as it seemed and finding the right products definitely helped me get through it a lot easier. And I feel like overall it's definitely worth it to finally have clear skin. If you're still struggling with acne, remember that everybody's journey is different, okay? Skincare is a journey, not a destination. You never really reach the finish line and it's something that you always work on. So don't get discouraged. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.